Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. Oh, that boy Vince is gone. Finally. Well, once again, he's gone. Oh, my goodness. I, I wish I could have been in the boardroom when someone hit Vince with the, you're fired. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah. It's a parade in my city. Yeah. Woo. Woo. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. And, man, today... It's been a great day. I I wasn't sure if it was going to happen so soon. But things fell into place like they were supposed to. And we got to thank Slim Jim. Because Slim Jim, they made the first move. They were one of the first sponsors to want to distance themselves from WWE after hearing about the alleged activities of Vince McMahon. And when them sponsors start to fall back, that's when these board members start to say, hey, that's millions of dollars we're potentially losing. If one sponsor leave, other sponsors are gonna leave. And that's what got the ball rolling. So we gotta give a thanks to Slim Jim there because without them falling back a little bit from WWE, don't know, maybe Vince would still be around. But guess what? old man vince is gone once again we found out live during the smackdown live stream shout out to everyone that was a part of that smackdown was pretty solid enjoyable show we found out the news while watching smackdown and it made it that much better oh oh man this is fantastic news we're gonna check out some of the tweets that um that uh, talked about this whole situation. These are the tweets I saw initially, and me and Dub, we turned up, we took took some shots. It, it was a great time. It's a great time, man. Jeez, this is crazy. Let's get into some of these tweets right here. This is on my Twitter. You know, as you see, I say it's time to party. You already know what it is. So this is apparently from uh, Nick Khan. Major news: Vince, uh, Vince McMahon. Resign, uh, resigned from all roles with TKO. The following was sent to some staff. I wanted to inform you that Vince McMahon has tendered his resignation from his position as TKO executive chairman and on the TKO board of directors. He will no longer have a role with TKO group holdings or WWE by Nick Khan. Bruh. This seems like this may be permanent, y'all. This definitely seems like there's there's a good chance he he probably won't be able to come back. Oh, this is just fantastic news. And let me check out, I'll show y'all the other tweet. This is actually, uh, Vince had made a statement about the situation. This is what Vince had to say. Vince McMahon in a new statement has officially resigned from TKO. I stand by my prior statement that Miss Grant lawsuit is replete with lies, obscene, made up instances that never occurred and is a uh, is and is a vindictive distortion of the truth. I intend to vigorously defend myself against these bases, baseless accusations and look forward to clearing my name. However, out of respect for w uh, for the WWE Universe, the extraordinary TKO businesses, uh, business, and its board members and shareholders, partners, and constant, uh, con uh, constituents, I said that wrong probably, and all of the, of the employees and superstars who helped make WWE into a, the global leader it is today, I have decided to resign from my executive chairman uh, chairmanship and TKO board of directors effectively immediately. AKA, they had that meeting and told you, you're fired. Oh, oh, Vince McMahon getting hit with the, you're fired. It's just, mm, chef's kiss. That's exactly what happened. Once they saw Slim Jim and other 
potential sponsor saying, hey, we may have to back out too. They called your old ass into their office. Look, you sick old freak. We don't know if these allegations are true. Probably some of them didn't know if they were true or not. But look, man, this is why we didn't really want you involved like that from the jump. Because we knew this was going to come back. And now look at you. You're trying to mess up our money, man. You got to get the hell up out of here. But hey, pal. Like, I started this. We don't give a damn. You sold it to us, Vince. And the majority vote, your old ass got to go. Ah. Oh, I'll be back. I'm going to clear my name. Watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Security, escort them out of here. Woo-hoo. Oh. Oh. If you can't tell, I am quite, quite ecstatic about this. All jokes aside, we still obviously don't know how true those these statements, them court document statements are. But this has been a long time coming. This has been a long time coming. Vince McMahon has been a part of some very interesting things. He has definitely pushed his weight. He has definitely pushed his power in the wrestling business and industry. And if you don't think he has, then you're fucking delusional. The stories, there's been multiple, multiple, multiple stories of Vince McMahon doing what the hell he wants to the talent that he has there because he knows he has the power. He has the advantage. I know some people are always saying, oh, he's going to come back. He came back before. I think this is different this time because we didn't know what was in those NDAs. We didn't have any real concrete evidence. So we had to kind of die down and, and, you know, wait for things to cool off. This is different. This is very different. It's going to be very hard for him to get back in, I think. And it doesn't make sense for him to get back in right now until they clear up everything else. And I don't know. If this situation is going to be cut and dry, if any part of what was said in that document is even remotely true is GG's and TKO holdings. They are all about the money. They don't give a damn about what he's done for the business because he sold the company. They bought it. So they have the right to do what they need to do. Ultimately, this is on him. This is this this falls on him. He has no one to blame but himself if these things are true. But the stories are out there. And if Vince is gone, there's a good chance Brock is gone too. There's there's a really good chance Brock is gone too. He was trying to lead the first time. You don't you don't think he's gonna lead the second time? Especially if his name is brought up in this in this whole situation indirectly. Oh, Brock is definitely gone too. And they needed to do this. They needed to. The Royal Rumble is tomorrow. They had no other choice but to, all right, we got to straighten this out now because they know a lot of people are going to be asking what's going to happen with Vince. They've already, hey, get out of here. I wouldn't even be surprised if Slim Jim, we see them uh, sponsored on the show, being one of their sponsors again. I would not be surprised because that's how quick boys be moving to make money. Vince With all his power, with all his might, he's not above the company no more. He's not. He sold it. Once he did that, it's fair game. So, comment down below. Let me know. How do y'all feel about Vince finally getting removed once again? (laughs) This time from WWE and TKO all together. How do y'all feel about this? Do y'all think This is a permanent situation. Do y'all finally think this is the end for Vince McMahon and um, we won't be seeing him involved in WWE and TKO for a while? Or do y'all think maybe when things die down, he'll be able to come back? Y'all let me know. But right now, Vince McMahon, old man Vince, porn star, um, no, porn star with the porn star stash Vince, whatever version of Vince you want to call Vince with the do-rag, my nigga Vince, Whatever, whatever version of Vince that you remember, he's gone. He's out of here. For now, we'll see how long that lasts. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K, and I'm still on the speed of YouTube wrestling champ of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking in with me. See y'all on the next one. Peace. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Before I, before I end this, hey, Vince. <laughs> I've been wanting to say this. I, I, I'm sure a lot of people have been wanting to say this. Hey, Vince. Hey, Vince. 
You're fire. Woo! Every time. Every time.